Hello, good evening, this is Diecast Luna. I hope you're all doing well. And tonight's video is going to be a challenge that was set about three or four days ago by 57 Fordsman, which is the bike challenge. And uh, I wasn't able to do the bike challenge when he first set the uh, challenge because I didn't have any bikes. But uh, a friend of mine um, told me the other day that he's got some, he's getting rid of some of his collection of Hot Wheels motorbikes and would I like them? And he knew that I had a channel and very generously donated the set to, or the, the bikes that he was wanting to get rid of so that I could review them, keep them, do whatever I wanted. So I obviously accepted his uh, gracious, gracious donation of some free Hot Wheels bikes and thought what better to do with them and um, rather than just do a review on them, I'll um, do 57 Forsman's challenge. So this will be my attempt at the bike challenge. And I don't know masses about them. So anyway, <clears throat> they are boxed, but they have been opened. So the first one we got here is, let's have a look so we can find a date that it was 2012 copyright on this particular one. And it just says three squealer. And it has a figure with it. So let's open it up, which is nice and easy thanks to my mate. And let's put the camera down a bit more. And there it is, pretty cool looking machine uh, i like the fact it's got a rider on it which is very very cool a bit dusty but yeah very very cool uh yeah 2012 copyright very very substantially made nice and strong obviously all made out of die cast i think this is a yeah it's all die cast and like i said it's got this rubberized figure which is pretty cool so i actually quite like this one I must admit I do like it it's actually quite groovy so that will be the first one so that is the three squealer so that is pretty cool and it rolls quite nice too so and the next one we're going to take a look at is street nos Oh, the camera's too far down. So it's called Street Nos. And again, this is figure included, or includes figure, sorry. And just have a look for 2015 copyright. So pretty cool little piece. Let's see if we can get it out. And again, pretty cool. It's got some sort of weird, what looks like a robotic rider, which I believe does pop off. How can I get it off? I ain't gonna take it right off because it's quite fiddly, but pretty cool. Again, weighty piece. This piece, particular piece is as heavy as a die cast car. But yeah, very, very cool. So, if I'm a bit quiet, it's because I'm taking it all in, because these are the first time I've seen them. But yeah, pretty cool. So that is the uh, Street Nos. So that is number two. And then number three is, again, uh, Got a figure inside again, includes figure, but this is Urban Weaver. And it is 2015 copyright. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see if I can get it out. And there it is. So this is the Urban Weaver. So so far they're all sort of fantasy bikes, I suppose you could say, fantasy casting, but like I said, they're pretty cool. They're very well made, they're all quite weighty. I mean, the only bit, you know, that's a rubber man and plastic wheels, but they're, they're all substantially made. And obviously this, this man will come off. Uh, I'm not gonna pull it off though, but it does come off. But yeah, pretty cool. 
not too bad at all. I've never really been a bike collector. I like motorbikes in real life, and I've, I've ridden and owned quite a few motorbikes, but maybe I might start collecting a few motorbikes, but this is definitely a good jump on my collection. Anyway, so that is the Urban Weaver. And then this one is called Blastus 2. I think, yeah, Blastus 2. And this is, look, another one from 2015. This one's a bit easier because the front's already off. And so is the man. So we'll take him off a sec, but that's pretty cool. What looks like, I'm trying to figure out what that is. I thought it was a skull, but it's not. It's some sort of weird... It looks like a dog's face with a cap or a helmet and some goggles on. It's quite unusual. This is a pretty cool looking bike. A bit more traditional looking. Like the sort of little uni seat there. It's pretty cool. And then this sort of weird... I'm not quite sure. It's like a character at Star Wars, but it's not. But it's uh, pretty cool piece nonetheless. It's just fallen off now. There you go. But that is a cool piece. It's got a little swinging arm there. Yes, that's pretty cool. So we'll pop that to one side. And then the last one is going to be this Airy 8, which is definitely pretty cool. Let's just check the copyright again really quickly. 2012. So this one's a 2012 piece. And again, you've got this massive rider. Looks like a Viking riding it. Yeah, very, very cool. Obviously called an Airy 8 because it's got uh, this huge V8 fitted to it. And again, the man comes off. Yeah, very nicely done. And again, pretty weight. This one's got a bit of plastic on it, but still very cool. Anyway, so that is my bikes that I've just been kindly given. So I have to say a big thank you to my mate Stuart for giving me some of his cherished bikes. I know he's got quite a few. I can't get this man to stay on there in his collection and uh, it's very nice of him to add these to my collection and at the same time I've managed to do 57 Fordsman challenge so that is also pretty cool I'm just trying to set the bikes up for an end shot here so just bear with me two seconds which is like that and like that and the last one Anyway, with that, please check out 57 Forsman's channel. Does some really cool videos. Big support of many channels. So go over there and show some, show some love, so to speak. And with that, I'll see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll bid you goodbye.